In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to give a job interview presentation. Now, if you have to give a job interview presentation soon, make sure you stay tuned because I will help you to be the standout candidate. And just very quickly, if you are new to this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's really important because then I can help you not just pass every job interview you ever attend, I can also help you to negotiate a salary and progress throughout your career. And please give the video a like. I very much appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Let's jump straight into the tutorial. So to help you, I will cover the following four things during this tutorial. Number one, I will give you my top five tips for giving a brilliant job interview presentation. Number two, I will tell you the best way to structure your job interview presentation for success. Number three, I will then carry out a presentation in a live job interview to show you what you need to do and say. And then finally, number four, I will tell you where you can download my ready-made interview presentation template and script. To begin with, let me give you my top five tips for giving a brilliant job interview presentation. Job interview presentation tip number one, make sure you get a clear brief on what you are required to do during the presentation. What is the subject you must give your presentation on? How long should your presentation be? What equipment will be provided on the day? For example, will you have a flip chart or a projector for PowerPoint? And finally, how much time will you have on the day to set up and prepare? Job interview presentation tip number two. If you are giving a presentation using PowerPoint, I recommend aiming for one slide per minute of presentation. So if you have to give a 10 minute presentation, aim for 10 slides. Now also, this is a great tip, use bullet points on your PowerPoint slides as prompts for what you need to talk about during the presentation. Job interview presentation tip number three is, make the presentation more about their company than you. Explain how you are going to add value to their organization in your presentation. Be sure to showcase the skills and qualities you have throughout the presentation. And finally, show you are human and someone relatable when presenting. Now make your presentation personable and don't forget to smile when talking. Job interview presentation tip number four. Make sure you keep your presentation simple. This is important. Don't try to impress the panel with fancy words or statistics. Consider using images and color within your PowerPoint presentation because these will help to enhance the visual aspect of your talk. Job interview presentation tip number five is, practice your presentation at least twice before your interview. Stand up and give your presentation in front of a friend, a work colleague, or a relative. Now, the start of your presentation is the most important because this is when you will be the most nervous. Make sure you practice the start of your presentation multiple times until you are comfortable. So let me now give you a brilliant three-step structure to use when giving a presentation in a job interview. I will then give you a presentation in a live interview to help you prepare before showing you where you can instantly download the slides and the exact script that I use. So the best structure to use when giving a job interview presentation is to divide it up into three sections. Section one is the introduction. During your introduction, introduce yourself and tell the interviewer what you are going to tell them during your presentation. Section two is called the middle section. Now this is where you simply present the main bulk of your information or your talk. And then finally, you finish off with section three, which is called the end. Now this is where you give a brief summary and conclusion of what you told them during the presentation. Let me now show you a live presentation in a job interview, and I will then tell you where you can download all of my slides and the exact scripts that I use. Here we go. Welcome to the interview, Richard. 
I'd like you to give me a five minute presentation on a subject of your choice. Please go ahead. Well, my name is Richard McMunn and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to deliver a presentation today as part of the interview process. So my presentation is entitled, Why I Have Applied for This Job and why I believe I am the ideal candidate. So to begin with, I will give you a quick introduction. So a very warm welcome to this presentation. Can I start off and just check that you are comfortable, you can see the screen and you can also hear me clearly. Thank you very much. Now, asking questions, I would respectfully ask that you please wait until the end of this short presentation and I will then allocate plenty of time for you to ask me any questions you want to. Thank you very much. To begin with, what I will cover during this presentation is as follows. First of all, I will give you an insight into my background and my personality and why I believe these are a great fit for your values, your team and your organisation as a whole. I will then explain the reasons why I decided to apply for this position. I will then detail why I believe I am the ideal candidate to come into your organisation within this position. And then finally, I will explain how I can add value to your organisation in the role. So I fully understand and appreciate you have spent a lot of time trying to find the right candidate and it is important that that candidate adds value continually throughout their duties and responsibilities. So it is my aim during this short presentation to prove to you how I can help your organisation to continue to thrive moving forward and maintain its position as a market leader. So let's start off with a little bit about my background and my personality. So I spent four years working for Company X and during my time with this organisation I learned some really important transferable workplace skills and qualities including being disciplined in my approach to tasks, I always took ownership of my responsibilities, I was organised in my work and I always prioritised tasks based on the needs of the organisation. I was a reliable team member and I was always flexible in my approach to helping the organisation. So to give you an example of when I was flexible, it was late on a Friday afternoon, my manager came into the office and he asked for a volunteer to stay behind late that evening to help the company prepare for an online sale that was going to be taking place that weekend. I agreed to be that person, I cancelled all plans and I then stayed behind for three hours that evening to help the organisation prepare. So all of these workplace skills allowed me to quickly build trust with my employer and it would be my aim if I am successful to do the same with your organisation. I then moved on and worked for Company Y and I spent three years with Company Y. Again, I learned some really important workplace skills that enabled me to become a highly productive member of the team. I learned how to work at pace. I learned to become a highly trustworthy member of the team and I was always able to solve problems and I helped the company to increase sales. And I did this by coming up with a recommendation for my manager on how the organisation could promote its products and services more effectively on social media. And once my recommendation was implemented, this helped the company to increase sales by 17% over the forthcoming year. So it was a great success. So I would describe myself as positive, optimistic about the future and supportive of the people in my team. I am also the type of employee who will always embrace change with a positive mindset and I will encourage other people to do the same. Now just quickly, outside of work, I have some hobbies and interests and in particular, I enjoy spending time with my dog, walking up in the hills. This enables me to stay fit and active, which helps to increase concentration levels whilst I am at work. So I like to keep myself 
physically fit. And I also enjoy reading and spending time with my family because reading non-fiction books helps me to continually learn and develop as a person. So let me now give you some examples of key workplace achievements. Number one, I consistently received positive feedback from my manager about my performance during annual appraisal reviews. Number two, I helped the organization achieve record sales during the three consecutive years I was working there. And this was a great combined team effort. And then finally, number three, I recommended to my manager a way for the company to save money by streamlining the ordering of office supplies and resources. Another one of my key workplace skills is the fact that I am a frugal worker. I will always seek ways to help you save money, which will have the positive effect of increasing company profits. Let me now give you four reasons why I have applied for this position. Number one, the skills and qualities I have are a strong match for the job description. I am ready made for this role. This means I can come into the organization and have a fast and immediate impact. Number two, I want to work for your company because you are forward thinking, you are ambitious, and you are also responsible. I plan, if I am successful, to build a long-term career with your organization. Number three, this is a job I am very passionate about, and I will get Gain lots of job satisfaction in the role. And then finally, number four, I want to work alongside other like-minded professionals who all have good standards and who have strong work values and ethics. Who I work with is very important and I have heard nothing but good things about your organization and the team I would be a part of. So let me quickly briefly summarize why I believe I am the ideal candidate. I am commercially aware. This means I will come into the role and I will always act with your organization's best interests. I understand that I need to come into the position and continually add value in my role. I need to make sure you will see a consistent positive return on your monthly investment if you hire me. I am selfless, which means I will always put my team first. I am a fast learner. This means I can come into the role. I will learn things quickly. And that means you won't have to closely monitor or supervise me moving forward. And I will always take responsibility for my own ongoing learning and development. Let me now give you five ways I will add value in this role. I will always treat your customers and clients with respect. I will be a positive role model for the company. I will always seek ways to help the business increase sales whilst also helping you to save money too. I will support my coworkers and help them to improve. So if there's anything I can teach them, I will always do that. And I will always help the team I'm a part of to progress and embrace change positively. I will always be a positive role model for the company. I will always look for new and innovative ideas to help the company grow. So it will be my intention in the role to help you maintain your position as a market leader. Let me quickly summarize. I have the skills and experience to match the job description. I am confident that I can quickly add value to your team and the organization in this role. I am also seeking long-term employment with your company and I will always be a positive role model for the brand. Finally, I am ready to start work and I am excited about the fact that this is a great opportunity for me to work in a role that I am very passionate about. Thank you very much for listening. Please, do you have any questions? So there's an example of a brilliant job interview presentation in a live interview. Now, if you want to download the exact PowerPoint slides I used, the editable PowerPoint slides and the script, click that link in the top right hand corner of the video right now and you can download my job interview presentation slides and script. It's a fantastic resource. It's going to save you lots of time. As I mentioned, it's editable so you can change it and tweak it 
to suit your needs. Make sure you check that out right now. And finally, just before I go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's really important because then I can help you pass every job interview you ever attend and also progress throughout your career. Please give the video a like. I very much appreciate your support. That also tells me that you find these tutorials useful. And don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. And it is always a pleasure and an honor to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best for giving a brilliant job interview presentation. Have a great day.